Okay, in today's video we're going to be looking at getting this tank um, up to scratch. Um, these are, I don't think they're original decals, but they're the ones that came with the bike when I bought it about seven years ago. As you can see, they're pretty much off all by themselves. Um, we've got a couple of brackets which attach to the frame to come off, and this bracket here which allows the seat to clip in. Um, obviously we'll be taking the breathing pipe and cap off. We'll be wet, well give it a wash, degrease it, um, and then wet and dry sandpaper. But after we've washed it we'll see how bad it is. Um, I think there's going to be quite a few marks which I don't know that we're going to get out but we'll just have to see as we go along. Okay, so the tank's had a clean, just with hot soapy water, and it looks miles better, although it is still looking pretty rough. Uh, what was really interesting is before I started on the tank last night, I was on the laptop, and I was looking at graphics, trying to decide what I'm going to put on there, because you saw the ones that came off. I didn't think they're original, because I've never seen them before. Um, and then underneath, you can see that it's actually got the outline of, well, that would have been an X, going into an R, I don't know if you can see it on there, but you've got the outline of uh, the Honda wing. So it's XR with a Honda wing, and I have seen that graphic, and that's probably the one I'm gonna go with. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting. Uh, we do have a load of black pitting. Um, it's not rough to the touch or anything, and I'm not too sure what, how, like, how that's come about. So I'm hoping as we sand down, um, we can sand through that but we're just gonna have to see. And there's obviously a lot of yellowing on the tank. Um, I don't know how deep that runs. I think you get that from leaving fuel in the tank. So if we can get it uniformed all over, even if it's not back to sort of factory white as it were, um, but some, some kind of uniformed color, that will look good. Um, I'm not gonna bother with the inside which is uh, gonna be sat on the frame, because that's gonna be really fiddly and no advantage of doing that. But we will be doing around here and just slightly into this uh, arch. And likewise, the thread, that's got a load of black pitting in as well. But obvious reasons, we won't be touching that. Um, so yeah, get the camera back over to the side and we'll start sanding. As per normal, we're gonna start off with I think we're on a 120 grit. I don't think I've got any 80 grit. Um, plus, apart from this scratch here, which is probably gonna be mainly covered by a graphic looking at that, that part is. That one will dull down with all the other sandpaper. So apart from that, maybe a little one there. I don't think we're gonna need an 80 grit anyway. Um, but yeah, 120 to 43, 20. 400, 600 and 1200 grit sandpaper followed by the buffing wheel should bring it up quite nice. Plenty of soapy water as well. So once we're done with sanding, it's time to get the buffing pad on the drill. Um, with the drill, we need to make sure that we're on a slow speed and we slowly go over the plastic tank. Um, the video does look fast, but it's been sped up. Um, if you go too fast, then you're gonna burn and leave marks in the plastic. So slow and steady wins the race. Once the buffing's done, this is the end result. Um, it's got a nice shine on the tank. 
We've gone through all of our sandpaper, polished her up, and she's good for the graphics. Although I will say I am going to experiment with going up to a 2000 grit because I tried it on a uh, fender and the result was quite nice. So I think the tank may benefit from that. So with the tank polished up, it's time to get the fittings back on. Um, with these fittings, I've cleaned them. Uh, there's the bracket which goes onto the frame, but there's also another small bracket which you can't really see, which fits between the frame bracket and the tank. It's like a little plate. Um, and I sanded those and then sprayed them with primer and then white, white to match the tank, and then just put a lacquer over them. Then I'm reinstalling the fuel tap and the tank's good to go. The graphics were ordered off of eBay, um, but after about a month of waiting, they never arrived and I've not been able to get hold of any at the moment. So I'm just shelving that for the time being, just waiting to find the right graphic, um, which is the one you saw earlier, but getting someone to sell it and deliver it is proving a little bit of a problem, but I'm sure we'll get there. Remember to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you next time.